All right, guys. So now we are on uh, part 31 of the uh, SYO601 pop quiz. Um, all right, first question. Which one uh, application of a real-time operating system being used in the commercial space that helps save lives? Is it A, Nucleus RTOS from Mentor used in medical devices? B, Raspberry Pi using uh, the optional PoE module for power? C, a system on a chip that can be used to provide fusion? Or D, the Arduino Med X cap, a heart register system connected to a Wi Fi. Correct answer is A. Nucleus RTOS for Mentor used in medical devices. A Nucleus RTOS for Mentor is a real time operating system RTOS software component that rapidly switches between tasks, giving the impression that multiple programs are being executed at the same time on a single processing core. In fact, the processing core can uh, execute only one program at any one time. Two, which low power device has been used in commercial applications to reduce human interaction capabilities and keep people safe? A, catapults with wireless controllers that can move objects across enemy lines and determine troop sizes. B, Drones used in harsh environments such as refineries and terminals where flammable gases can be dangerous to humans. C. Robotic window washers which ensure that windows are washed without the need for a human to be on a scaffolding. Or D. Micro dots that enable spies to see inside facilities to ensure it's safe for them to carry operations. Call answer is B. Drones used in harsh environments such as refineries and terminals where flammable gases can be dangerous to humans. Embedded computers used in unmanned system applications are often characterized by their low swap C, size, weight, power, and cost profiles, small form factor SFF, and rugged operation ranges, which are vital components for unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. 3. Which of the following access controls allow security guard to view visitors prior to access engagement and entry? A. Access controls vestibule. B. Barlord. C. Barricade. Or D. Guard station. Correct answer is access control vestibule. A. An access control vestibule, formerly known as Mentrap, allows security guards to see visitors before they are allowed through the second door. Guards can use cameras and voice communication to a certain identity. 4. Which of the following helps control access in and out of a facility? A. Fencing and guards gates. B. Ballot and barricades. C. Access control vestibules. Or D. Signage and dogs. Correct answer is C. Access control vestibules. Vestibules are an excellent access control addition. Entries with panels built from prefabricated composite or metal are used uh, as a way for companies to control the heat and airflow in their facilities. 5. Which motion detection method uses infrared or laser technology as its primary method? A. Radar detection. B. Optical detection. C. Object detection or D proximity detection. Correct answer is optical detection. Optical detectors convert incoming optical energy into electrical signals. The two main types of optical detectors are photon detectors and thermal detectors. Photon detectors produce uh, one electron for each incoming photon of optical energy. The electron is then detected by the electronic circuitry. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comment, please leave it in the comment section below the video. And guys, don't forget, click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell for notifications so you will never miss any of my videos.